When I started sharing my adventures on FlyingDawnMarie.com, I never would have considered myself a hiker. In fact, every adventure I went on, I was either wearing my comfy Uggs or flip-flops. And if there's one thing I've learned over the past few years, quality footwear really makes a difference in the adventure. So this week I'm sharing a few of my favorites with you and I'm starting with my Danners. Now this is a classic brand and the Women's Mountain 600 is an amazing shoe for just every day or your rugged adventures. They're water resistant and yet super comfortable. Danner is known for excelling on all sorts of terrain, whether I'm hiking up stone carved staircases or I'm heading out to wet waterfall terrain. To see me in action with my Danners, I'm linking my full Chilnawalna Falls YouTube video right here and the full blog post is on flyingdawnmarie.com. Another wonderful brand of shoes I absolutely love for hiking is Solomon. I'm wearing my X Ultras and I'm in Yosemite doing the Mist Trail. So there's over 600 wet, steep granite steps here, a lot of water, and it's about eight miles today I'm doing. These feel so comfortable. It's another great pair for hiking. For my long distance, most rugged hiking scenarios, this is my go-to footwear and it is superior to anything I have found when it comes to wet, slick, mossy conditions. I feel comfortable and secure always hiking in these. really see me in action with my X Ultras. I'm linking one of my favorite Yosemite YouTube video hikes right here. You can join me as I hike up the Mist Trail to Nevada Falls and then hike back down the John Muir Trail. Definitely one of Yosemite's greatest day hikes. absolutely have to include Columbia when I'm talking about hiking footwear. My first pair of hiking shoes I ordered off of Amazon, they were Columbia boots. I'm still wearing them. These are waterproof, weatherproof, and Columbia is a great brand for anyone starting out. They're pretty comfortable like your regular tennis shoes and sneakers, but they are durable for almost any trail. Confession time, I've actually purchased and own three pairs of Columbia Newton Ridge boots. They are so versatile and comfortable. It's rare you'll be out on a trail and not see at least one other person with these on. I have hiked dozens of trails inside Yosemite with my Columbias, from Forista Falls, Wildcat Falls and the Cascades, to Yosemite Valley's famous Valley View or Gates of the Valley. Heading up Tioga Road to Tuolumne Meadow, I've hiked Lambert Dome, and along Glacier Point Road, I've hiked to Taft Point, Sentinel Dome, and Roosevelt Point, just to name a few. Of course, my Columbia adventures don't end in Yosemite. I've been drenched at the eighth wonder of the world, otherwise known as Bernie Falls. And I've hiked numerous incredible trails inside of Lassen Volcanic National Park. One of my greatest memories in this footwear is Death Valley National Park when Badwater Basin flooded salt and water all over these shoes and they still withstood the test. I'm linking all of this footwear in the description below so if you're looking for some great hiking shoes you can check these options out for yourself. An overall shoe that I adore for hiking has to be Oboes. They have a great sneaker-like comfortable feel, but the durability and the incredible grip makes them wonderful for hiking just about anywhere. It's hard to think of a better test 
for hiking footwear than Yosemite's Pohono Trail. 13 miles of rugged backcountry hiking, but it leads to some of the most incredible views and spectacular overlooks in the entire park. And these shoes have made that trail easy for me over the years. I'm pretty sure I've lost count of how many Yosemite adventures these shoes have been with me on, but no matter where I go inside the park or what adventure I'm heading out on, they're a great option. They always stay dry and they're just as comfy as wearing my sneakers, really. Of course, I don't spend all my time hiking in Yosemite. These shoes have followed me to Death Valley National Park, They've explored the incredible talic formations of Pinnacles National Park with me. They've forged through the wet and rugged terrain of the Redwoods and far beyond. Just check out a few of these adventures. I love Kodiak boots and they are so versatile. I can take them from LA to Yosemite anytime. Kill it. As much as I love adventuring, you're just as likely to find me wearing my Kodiaks at home, heading to the grocery store, or just taking Thumper out for a walk because these are so comfy. Did you know I've actually visited three different national parks in one day wearing this footwear. I'll link the YouTube video right here and you can see for yourself how I've started off in Yosemite National Park exploring Yosemite Valley before heading out to Kings Canyon National Park for a few of my personal favorite hikes. And then I made the drive to Sequoia National Park to finish up my day. It's an excellent day of adventuring and some excellent footwear. I actually have three pairs of Kodiaks in two styles. I love them so much. And check out one of my favorite adventures with them. I enjoyed a spectacular week inside Yellowstone National Park, but we ended up getting a freak unexpected snowstorm while I was there. Thankfully, my Kodiak boots are completely waterproof, weatherproof, and perfect when it started snowing. And the sun did come out and we got a few days of glorious weather. Hiking in these shoes was the perfect way to adventure through our country's first national park. Because Yellowstone is so large, I spent hours every day driving in the car, walking on paved paths, wooden boardwalks, and rough terrain trails. Never once did my feet bother me on this entire trip. And that's saying something for a week in Yellowstone. I explored every major geyser basin here, saw so much wildlife, and at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure my feet were the only thing that weren't tired after this incredible trip. I hope today I've answered the most asked question I get about what footwear do I use when I go hiking. I think I've come a long way from my days hiking in my Uggs. Now for full details like styles, sizing, and where to purchase, you can see my full blog post at flyingdogbreed.com and I'll link that in the comments below. I'm going to have a brand new hike coming at you right here next week, so stay tuned. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.